What's up guys, this is Jester of None. Today we'll be making a wood panel effect. If you haven't seen the wood grain effect, then um, you won't understand how we got this texture on our screen right now. But I'll put a link and then you can follow it and then come back to this afterwards. If you've already done that, then you'll have this on your screen and now you can make it into a wood panel. So, so what we're looking for is a wooden board going across our panel. The best way to do that is to create a new layer and then draw a rectangle here. This is gonna be our template for making the shadows and the lighting. So create a new layer and then zoom in and you want to drag this out a little bit there you go and then invert your selection go on your magic wand tool and subtract anything outside of the, the black box go back up to your third layer and then fill this in black create another layer go back onto your uh, template make sure you've got replace on select the template and move it out again exactly the same process in reverse invert the selection and then subtract anything outside of the box this gives you your white your highlight fill that in white okay now we've got our highlight we go back down to the panel go on we can we can untick the panel so we don't see it anymore go on the shadow layer press effects blurs gaussian blur and just blur this out until you've got a nice shadow it doesn't really matter how large it is because you can change this in a second. But there we go, that one should work. That'll give us a very rounded texture because it's quite a large shadow, but we can change that in a second. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing, effects, Gaussian blur, and just blur that out until you've got, again, a nice shadow. Lovely, okay. So once you've got this, you can merge the layers down. You don't have to do this permanently, but just for now so that we can see. That looks good and then copy that and paste it and move it along to your next board. So you can see that because, so you can see that because we got, we picked um, two very long shadows, we have this rounded effect on our boards. If that's what you're looking for, then great, but that's not what I'm looking for today. So I'm gonna undo that. So what we wanna do to get rid of that effect is make the shadows and the highlights a little bit narrower like that. And the same on the other side, we're going to grab it and move it inwards until we have just a little edge. And then we're going to merge the layers for the sake of testing it out. Select the whole panel, copy and paste, and then move it over and put it next to the other one to compare. Okay, this looks good. So now that you've done that, you can just select these two, copy and paste, and then move them out again. Uh, don't worry about lining up the tops and bottoms too much, just make sure that they're touching at the side, and then you can just stretch out the top and bottom because it won't damage the, the appearance of the uh, shadow. So just keep doing this process over and over again, lining them up, and then stretching them up and down. And then for the last one, just copy the edge in. Move this across. Okay, now you've got the edge in, and this one actually pretty well lined up. And there you go. If you're worried about the uh, depth of the shadow, you can just duplicate the layer and make it a bit stronger. You can do this for as long as you want to get whatever strength of effect that you want. Personally, this is a bit dark for what I'm looking for, but I do want to have a different effect on the light as I do on the shadow. So we're going to take this and select all of the shadow. It won't pick up any of the, um, the whiteness because it's, it's just such a large contrast between them. You can copy the shadow and then hit delete and then move that up to a different layer, and then you have everything on a different layer so that you can adjust the lightness and the shadow separately, but they are perfectly aligned. So go on to the layer that has the shadow on, and you can adjust this. I want to go on color burn, and then move it down a little bit, and then the light I want to go on overlay, and then again, move it down just a little bit. And there you go, you have a wood panel effect. If you wanna make a few quick changes to this to make it a little bit more, um, like actual wood panels they're usually not made from the same big piece of uh, wood so what you can do is select all of one panel go onto your background layer copy it and paste and then move it over and replace one of your sections and you can do this as many times as you want that'll get you um that'll get you a, a more inconsistent wood paneling effect which will make it look a bit more like a wooden floor and then just for the sake of being pretty we'll create a new layer set the brightness down, 
take a brush, put it on a high with a low hardness, a bit bigger than this, I think. Make sure you've got black selected, and we'll just put in a vignette. And good, there's our wood panel texture. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want to see anything in particular, leave a message in the comments and I'll get around to it as soon as it's possible. Thank you very much, guys. I have been Jester of None. See you next time. Yeah. Yeah, you're scared, aren't you? You're scared. Yeah, you better run. Go on. Oh, there's two of them. I'm going to run. I'm running. Oh, I almost ran into the fire. Flee, 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 flee. Flee, 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 flee up the tree.